Friday night. It's the new, uh, it's the new uh, vlog week for dinner. And I tell you what, we are just, we're pooped. We're pooped. So we just went and rounded up all of the, all the kittens and picked them up at school and got everything done. And, and I was driving home and I'm like, Ma, what are, you, what are you gonna cook for dinner? And she's like, I don't know, what are you gonna cook for dinner? And I said, nothing. So what do we do? We went and we settled on the barbecue truck. Mm -hmm. So we've got salad there. What is that? Chicken salad? Like a, yeah. Chicken salad? Smoked chicken salad. And then I went with the tri-tip and macaroni and cheese and potato salad. It's amazing. I probably should try just a bite. Again. Taste for the second, second time or the third time. No, it came like that. Oh, it did. So that is what's for dinner on Friday night. The kids are going to eat the rotisserie chicken uh, from Costco and have some veggies and stuff on the side. So that's what's for dinner Friday night, guys. Later. All right, guys. Welcome to... Uh, it's the weekend. I know that. Saturday. 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 So we are going to go with your smoker tonight. Oh yeah. Get my ribs on. So I just got them all slicked up and uh, what do you call it? All dialed in with the uh, herbs. Herbs, I mean the spices, whatever. So I got them all spiced up, lathered up. They're gonna go on the smoker low and slow, probably about 260 is what I'm thinking. 260, 265 for about two hours probably. I usually do about 45 minutes each, each side. So I start them on the bottom side, go 45, flip them, go 45, flip them, finish them off another 45, depending on where they're at, depending how thick they are. Um, and then I might crank it up to like 350 for like 15 minutes just to get that little crisp edge on there, get a little charcoal on there. And that's that'll be it, they'll just fall apart. So ribs tonight, have no idea what else is gonna go with them, but I do know we're having ribs. BAM! <laughs> Look at the ribs. My favorite. So we went with ribs, potatoes, sweet potatoes pureed in the old Vitamix for the ladies, and then all the salad trimmings. We're just trying to use up some space. Um, I had some leftover potatoes and sweet potatoes um, that needed to be used up because we needed the room in the fridge for Thanksgiving stuff. So basically got a couple ribs there, some taters, and some salad. That's what's for dinner on Sunday night. Oh, wait, whoa, Saturday night. Welcome to Tuesday night. So, confession time, let's get real here. So, Sunday night I didn't vlog, and Monday night I didn't vlog. Totally, well, I didn't space it, just didn't have the camera available, and we were out and about, so let me explain. So Sunday night, Sunday we were just busy around the house doing projects and whatnot. So. Uh, Sunday was uh, da, 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 baked potato chili feed at church and we were going to participate but we decided not to because we didn't have the time to cook so it was one of those fly to the bumblebee did our all things take a quick shower and did it off church had service and feed and just totally forgot the camera was at home so Sunday night we had baked potatoes and chili Monday night last night the kids are off all week for Thanksgiving. I had to take a minute. Man, my days, I lose track of my days. I'm getting old. Um, so they were off all week, but they had parent teacher conferences. So I came home from work, got out of one vehicle, hopped in another vehicle, went to one parent teacher conference at the high school. That lasted like an hour and a half. We had some time, like 20 minutes in between. Then we had to jet off to the middle school for Grace. And then after that was all said and done, it was like 7.30. And I was rushing home to cook a dinner and Christine and I are like, do we really want to cook? Not really, so let's just go ahead and stop off and grab Thai. We got Thai, yeah, Thai food last night. So we stopped and did that. Again, wasn't intending to do that, so we weren't even planning, didn't take the camera, yada, yada, yada. So last night we had Thai food Tuesday night. So tonight is, excuse me, Thai food Monday night. Monday night. So tonight is Tuesday night. And it's not tacos, are you surprised? So actually, I'm not gonna go outside because in our neck of the woods, it's, well, it's freaking cold outside. It's like in the 20s at night. So I got steaks on the smoker. Like the last 20 minutes of the steaks on the smoker, I'll throw this asparagus on there. That is just uh, some garlic 
Where's the garlic in there? There's the garlic. Yeah, garlic. Yeah. So we got garlic in there, onions, salt and pepper, and about a tablespoon, maybe a tablespoon and a half of olive oil. Got some wild rice action going on the Instant Pot and the steaks on the smoker. So that will be what we're chilling on or cooking on dinner. Good night. That would be what we're cooking Tuesday night. Soup's on, so it's actually kind of nothing left. So what we ended up going with was some steak sliced up there, rice. Yeah, I dropped a bomb on you guys. I threw some shrimps on the barbie. <laughs> so with the asparagus, I threw some shrimp on there. And so we got garlic shrimp. Steak, rice, and asparagus. That's what's for dinner Tuesday night. It is Wednesday. Hashtag real life problems here. So we are got home late and we are starting to prep cook for Thanksgiving tomorrow. And so everything got planned for Thanksgiving tomorrow and we forgot to take out any kind of meat out of the freezer for dinner tonight. We forgot or we did not want to. Probably a little of both. So we're starting to cook, that's a different vlog. So basically tonight was pizza. So here it is people, got a couple salads to divvy up there. Got a large pepperoni, got a gluten-free Hawaiian. And I don't know what Zoe's got going it's, on there. It's a sausage, pepperoni, and olives. It's the best pizza ever. There you go champ. So guys, that is what's for dinner on Wednesday night, Turkey Bird Eve, later. Yeah. All right guys, what's going on? It's been a minute. It's been a minute, so uh, I hope you all liked our Thanksgiving feast vlog that was up, and so we did. We ate good. We ate good. Yeah. Hope you liked our Thanksgiving feast vlog that was up. So I'm gonna drop a little truth bomb on you. So with our current layout, the way we do our dinners and the way Thanksgiving fell, it was only like a half a week last week of dinner vlogs. So. I'll finish out this half of this side of Thanksgiving and I'll just combine it. Because um, we had th leftovers for like three days. So that kind of kind of chewed up a little bit of the dinner vlog. So with that said, um, we'll combine these and then we will uh, we'll go from there later. It is dinner 30. Tonight we are rolling with our standard. Bam, the kids were in the mood for that. So. That's what we got going. So I got the chicken down, got it all diced and sliced and then pressed there. Gonna get a little crunch on that. Got the water preheating there for our for our pasta. Got the special sauce, all special sauce up there. Gonna dice up some nuts there for the top. And then I've got the spread of cilantro, green onions, and limes there. So this recipe I will post below. We have made it before. We got the green, uh, or green, the carrots in there with just a pinch of garlic. Gonna saute that up. Saute that up a little bit here, kind of soften them up with about a half a tablespoon of, of uh, coconut oil. Get those all nice and tender. Noodles are almost done. Chicken's done. Eggs are cooked and fluffed. Sauce is done. So basically we're gonna get these done and then we throw the chicken and eggs and sauce in, heat that up and green onions in here. And then right at the very end, we throw the noodles in and give it a stir and then it voila. Bomb.com right there. So that's it, everybody's in the pool, letting it heat everything back up. One thing I did forgot to say is there's two things that we leave out of this recipe. One is the bean sprouts because only myself likes the bean sprouts, no one else in the family does. And second is, I think it calls for one red bell pepper sliced thin. Bell peppers in our family, we don't get along. So we don't eat the bell peppers anymore. So we leave that one out too. So but you guys, if you make this recipe, it is delicious. And um, make sure to put those things in there if that's what you guys like. So we're gonna get this dished up, call it a night. All right, peeps. That is wrapping up Sunday nights, post gobble gobble dinners, pad thai, got a little peanuts up in there, the nuts action, and some cilantro on top, and we'll garnish it with some limes on the side. There we go, got some limes, there you go. Dinner, well done, later. 
Hey you all, so welcome back to our dinner vlogs. I am cooking dinner tonight for Monday. So here's what I got going on. Now we are big, big <laughs> Instant Pot. If we we're ever to have somebody sponsor our videos, I think it should be Instant Pot because we love this thing so much. Now, confession, I have never used a slow cooker setting on my Instant Pot. You can do it. See, it's right, it's right there, slow cook. So. We're gonna do this today. Um, I am making slow cooker gumbo, modified version, but um, let me show you what I've got out, okay? So we have our boneless, skinless chicken breast. Sorry, thighs, we use thighs. Um, I've got my celery, my onions, my garlic, my tomato paste, my diced onions, oregano, thyme, cayenne pepper, and bay leaves. Now it calls for bell peppers. Bell pe peppers hate Josh, so we don't do bell peppers at all. Um, and okra, can't find it in the store. Some of you Southern, our Southern people are gonna be like, what do you mean? Yes, we cannot find it in our Oregon stores. Crazy. Um, and then no C Cajun seasoning. It's just gonna be too much for the girls. So with the pepper, cayenne, thyme, and oregano, I think that's enough. I'm gonna throw it all in, oh, and shrimp too. I'm gonna throw it all in my slow cooker. I don't know why it looks like that. Um, it's fine, it's not doing that, but I'm gonna throw it all in there except for the shrimp, let it cook for, I've got probably four hours till dinner. Um, so we'll see what setting, if I can mess with the setting on the slow cook, and we'll go from there. I'll show you guys what it looks like when it's all in there. Everyone's in the tub. Okay, you guys, so here it is. Everybody is in there. I do wanna say, especially maybe I'm sensitive because I'm filming, but this around my Instant Pot was disgusting. So, uh, a, a essential oil trick, because they take lemon essential oil. I just got a paper towel damp. I put a couple drops of lemon essential oil right on that paper towel, and I just wiped it around the rim. Another thing is, a lot of you ask how my which cracks me up. I, I, a few of you have asked how I keep my appliances so clean because from my view, they're not hardly ever clean with three kids. I don't know who invented stainless steel appliances, but they did not have three kids and it is no bueno fun to clean. But that's what I do is I just take a wet cloth, like a Norwex cloth and lemon essential oil and I wipe down my appliances a lot. <laughs> so that's why they're so clean. So I had to mention that tip. Okay. So when I was doing the ingredients, you guys, I did, I forgot to pull out of the fridge my um, sausage. We found this at Whole Foods. We buy a lot of our sausage type special things at Whole Foods because we can trust what's in it. Um, sometimes it's too spicy. This one's mild. I actually had a good chunk of it because that's what moms get to do and it wasn't overly spicy. So my little family is super sensitive to spices and uh, we just have to keep that in mind. So. I've got all of everything in here. I'm just gonna go ahead and stir it all up. And then, you guys are just, reading manuals is like not in my repertoire. Honestly, when I cook, I to ask my husband, it's usually a crapshoot, but somehow uh, things all turn out really, really good every time. So I don't know, it's Jesus or something because. <laughs> um, anyway, so I've got it all stirred. You're not supposed to add liquid to it. So we're not gonna do that. Um, I do want to throw my bay leaves right on top. So I'll throw my bay leaves in there. We'll put the lid on it. Oh, here we go. You guys even told me how to do this, and I still, still, we still messed it up. Oh, yay! It was less time that time. Okay, so make sure it's on sealing your little thingy. And then you want to be sure that it's on slow cooker. I have no idea how to do this, guys. So by the time you can actually tell me what I'm doing, it's already gonna be cooked. So four hours is about the time on normal that I want to cook, at least it's four hours till dinner. I don't know what that means for the end result. This is, that's good. This is an experiment for everybody. So <laughs> that's all I have. And then the shrimp, uh, the shrimp goes in at the end. So we'll show you guys what this actually ended up tasting like or looking like when it's all done cooking in about four-ish hours or when it's done. Happy well, Mondays, people. It didn't work out, guys. So, I, Give yeah, it's tips. Monday. Share your tips because 
it didn't work. The whole slow cooker setting. I don't know what four hours was. Yeah. I don't know. So I, I checked it at like 30 minutes left because we had to throw the shrimp in. Yeah. And no. it was like lukewarm. It didn't, so I had to manually put it on and, and get it the rest of the way. But that's what's for dinner, Monday night. So we cooked it on um, manual pressure for 20 minutes. You told them that. Yeah, I, well, I was getting there. To finish it. So okay. to finish it off, I did manual for 20 minutes, threw the shrimp in. And that's what we got going on there. We got some gumbala gumbalaya. <laughs> Jambalaya. There we go. That's what's for dinner Monday night. Later, guys. Okay, Tennessee and Christine here, and we are cooking dinner for Tuesday night. Thunder! It's thundering outside right now. So, guys, I don't know if you've noticed, I am a meat and potatoes kind of cook. That's my favorite, simplest, um, lots of protein. Josh is the more elaborate you know, recipes, <laughs> the steps. He makes the recipes with the steps. I just chop and dump. That's pretty much what I do. So I'm going old school with my crock pot today because um, I could not figure out the instant pot for the love yesterday. So I've got some studying to do. But anyway, I'm just going to salt and pepper my roast, put it in the crock pot, slice up some potatoes. I leave my skins on and then throw some baby carrots, slice up some onion, kind of put that around the roast and then salt and pepper one more time. I love to use rosemary, fresh rosemary on my um, roast, but I don't have any fresh rosemary. So we're going with dry today. I will show you guys, let me get all of this into the crock pot and then I'll show you what it looks like. Okay guys, so here it is, all in the crock pot. You could barely see the roast in there. I've got so many goodies around it. So this is a good example of how I how I cook. I take the simplest ingredients, maybe some of you guys are like me, and I do this. It is like all over the floor. It looks like it looks like you made dinner, Tennessee. What? Did you make dinner? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so here we go. I will show you guys. I like to get it on high. There's your mini. I like to get it on high, get it nice and hot. I'm gonna put the lid on it and then um, bring it down to low. So high probably for 45 minutes to an hour and then low. And then we'll be able to eat in about six hours. What's going on, good looking? <laughs> I finished dinner, guys. Actually, you scooped it out. So I come home to a crock pot of dinner, which was to my surprise, it was very, very, very uh, happy about that because I was tired today and I didn't want to cook. I won't even make you work out in the garage tonight. Nice. So, so there it is, guys. It was delicious. A salad. Like, Romaine needs to get healthy again. I saw, <laughs> I saw the perfect meme on Facebook. Okay. And it said, how come every time I want to start my diet, lettuce gets recalled? <laughs> <laughs> that's funny. So, I do miss it. Anyway, guys, that's what dinner looks like tonight. Uh, Tuesday night all dished up. Here's what's left of the chunk of meat. And then, then we pull out all the taters and everything. So that'll do her. Thanks, Mom. You're welcome. Happy Thursday night, guys. I'm cooking again. Yes, we are. The husband will come back and cook eventually. Not he, really. He usually makes an appearance just to kind of kick it in the driveway. I quit. Oh. I turned the camera on. And everybody, go to go to Dollar Tree, guys. Tennessee found what is that rainbow dash? Squishy. She thinks it's a rainbow dash squishy for a buck. Okay, so focus. Where'd my recipe go? I quit. <laughs> and we heard you. Instant pot spinach artichoke chicken, guys. This is what we're cooking tonight. So I've got not everything. I did not get everything out beforehand. I usually try to be prepared, but at least my chicken is thawing and um, chopped spinach is thawing. And my organic, um, we get this at Costco. Those are expensive. Like, I don't know if we're going to get those again. But whole cashews, I made a fine supposed to be fine flour like consistency but that's about as far as I could get without it being a um, cashew butter and so I'm getting ready to add a bunch of stuff to to make the sauce in the blender I love blender recipes I don't know if you guys know that about me but they light me up because they're so simple it's a one thing typically so I'm gonna make all my sauce I'm gonna show this is an instant pot dinner tonight too look did at our pretty window did you just say it lights me up it does gets gets motor running gets my motor running because it's simple okay look, I got this out oh you're such a good sous chef you're proud of I am look how pretty our house is guys I'm gonna do a Christmas tour. Okay, it's coming. It's on the list. Okay. <laughs> All right, peoples, we got almost everybody up in the pool here. We haven't mixed it yet. I think 
I think we got so some mayo. Everything minus uh, the cashews and the mayonnaise. So this cooks, but this looks, I mean, it's raw, but and raw and my meat is still frozen. frozen, but that's the beauty of the Instant Pot is that it makes deliciousness. So you're supposed to just like stir it all together. Quick plug here. So if you guys are on the fence, Christmas is coming. Yeah. If you want an Insta, Insta Pot, and Why if you're like, yeah, no, and if you're like on the fence, just get one. We yeah. love the machine. Yep, this is our second one. It's our go-to. I mean, dinner is at five, five forty-five. We'll be eaten by six thirty on something that would take six, eight hours in the crock pot. Yeah. You know, I cut you out of all of these, right? I love Christmas. High five. Put the lid on because I know. No, high fives. Sure. High five. Knox. Boom. Right there. It, See, it's not working. No, you got to go off to the side. Someone said line up the. No, no, no. Whoa, whoa, whoa. See? No, you're still. Chief, dude. I just. Right there. And then you slide it. Can you slide it? See the little notch right there? The little notch locks it on the back there. That's a lesson. 101. Boom. You make it look. It's sealed. Okay, so then with Fire in the hole. high pressure, high pressure for manual setting, high pressure 15 minutes. There we go. That's it? That's it. Pretty and sure, pretty sure a little longer. We go longer. Yeah, let's go 20. They're, they're pretty frozen. Okay, cool. All right, and then this goes in at the end? Yep. Okay, you can put the mayo back in the fridge? <laughs> or do you want to get E. coli? They're getting like real marriage oh, life e. right now. E. coli. Sure, honey. All right, guys, we'll catch you in 20. Soup's on, people. All right, guys, so dinner's done. Here it is, all dressed and impressed. So, cooked it, took the lid off, threw through the cashews, threw the mayo in there, stirred it up, let it sit for a few minutes because the uh, cashews and the mayo makes it thicken up quite nicely. Then we got our pasta action going on there. We're going with a different pasta because Whole Foods no longer has that pasta that we used to get. They're, I don't know if they just discontinued it. So this was kind of in its place, and it's like half the price. So we're going with this. So gluten-free spaghetti pasta made from corn and rice. I put two packages in there. It swelled up way. It looked like it was angel hair pasta, but it, it swelled up really, probably three times the size. So that's what we got. Uh -huh. Bam! There's our dinner. What day is it? Today is Thursday. Thursday. Thursday night's nice dinner, people. Later. Well, so dinner is wrapped. Let me tell you, it was delicious. You guys should try that sometime. Man, that was good, good, yeah. good. It reminds me of the, uh, what's the restaurant we used to go to Bugatti. back in the day? Uh, but no, uh, Mommy. Applebee's. Applebee's um, spinach dip. It oh, looks and tastes just it's like that. Like but it's a healthy version and you add chicken to it. So if you've ever had that before, you kind of know what I'm talking about. Anyway, let's wrap this long vlog up. So thanks for hanging in there over the, the long uh, turkey day holiday or this long vlog. If you guys like it, give us a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button or whatever, and we will catch you tomorrow after Costco. Oh yeah, later.